um, but your first consideration has to be the individual, the duty of care of that individual. And I think we all must wish Harry and his family well. I mean, cricket is important and test cricket is important, but um, your, your family and yourself are more important. So personal reasons, he's headed home. Um, hopefully everything will be OK. Um, hopefully he'll come back to India at some stage. It's a long tour, but the first thing's first. They must make sure that Harry Brook is fine. And it is a blow. You know, his stats... For England, since coming in on debut at the Oval, have been phenomenal. What's the average? 62 at a strike rate of 92. He epitomises how McCullum and Stokes want this side to play. Um, fabulous player of spin, uh, as we saw in Pakistan. So it is a, a big blow on the eve of such a big test series. Um, England have called on Dan Lawrence to to replace him in the squad. Um, is that Was that the obvious choice or, or could England have gone in a different direction? Well, he was the spare batter um, last summer uh, in the Ashes, so he was the next cab off the rank. He has been, um, he has played in India. He played on that last tour. He played three Test matches, got one fifty, I think, on that tour. Um, he's been playing franchise cricket. He's been out in Big Bash playing that, and he just arrived in Dubai to play in the IL Twenty. Uh, the other way of going would have been the lads that are already out there in, in the Lions. So Josh Bohannon in the middle order, the Lancashire player, has played really well on the tour. And I'm a big fan of Keaton Jennings, both as a batter, but also as a catcher around the bat uh, when the spinners are on. He's one of the best short legs in the game at the moment, but he's in fabulous form. He's an opening batter. Um, a like-for-like -like replacement would have been Bohannon or Dan Lawrence. Um, and I think they like Dan Lawrence. They like the way he offers them some spin as well. Um, it is a blow for the lads that are on the Lions. Um, they must feel like they're there for a reason and they want to be part of the main squad. But Dan Lawrence is a seriously good cricketer.